Welcome back my friends. Today we're going to look at a product that lets you capture items as though you would look at them in real life in 360 degree splendor on this episode of Picks to Flicks. The phone and the turntable work together and you choose the number of photos you want to take, 24, 36, or 48. Then the app moves the turntable exactly the right angle, shoots each image at precisely the right time, and assembles all the images into an MP4 video, an animated GIF, and then outputs each image into its own discrete file. All this happens automatically and almost instantly, and the entire zip file containing all of these little gems can be instantly shared. If you've seen any of my other videos, you may have noticed that I regularly use a number of animated 360 degree photos of items under review to show them from all angles. It's my opinion this is a great way to give viewers an idea of what the item actually looks like as though you were holding it in your own hands. There are a number of ways to capture images like this. For years I've done it manually with a lazy Susan turntable marked every 15 degrees and an old light cube I got from Calumet Photographic here in Chicago. This method has worked okay, but it was time consuming, manual, and the light was difficult to control. After a number of years, my Calumet light cube turned an unappetizing and useless yellow, so I went online in search of a replacement, and I ran across a Korean company by the name of Orange Monkey. They had conducted a Kickstarter program back in 2014 for their system they called Foldio. Their rather modest goal was to raise $10,000 and they blew this totally out of the water to the tune of more than $171,000. Their most recent Kickstarter campaign, campaign in 2017 brought in more than $800,000 on a goal of 50 k Phew! It would seem there's a healthy demand for their product. Their third, most current generation and largest product is the Foldio 3, which started shipping in late 2017. There are three sizes of Foldio available to buy. The Foldio 1 is a 10 inch cube, the Foldio 2 is 15 inches, and the device we used, the Foldio 3, is 25 inches square. The Foldio 3 is more of a system than a product though. It's made up of a folding light tent that origamis into a sturdy light tent, complete with pre-installed lights. It can be carried around using the integral handle. To set it up, all you do is undo some Velcro and unfold it side by side. Magnets are strategically placed at fulcrum points to hold all the parts together and the entire system sets up in less than 30 seconds. Folding the light tent back up again is just as easy and just as quick. There are three interconnected overhead LED light bars 
permanently attached to the ceiling of the Folio 3 with a plug located on top of the light tent. These lights are controlled with an inline pendant that is powered from a power converter attached to the main cord. There is a dial on this pendant to control the intensity of the overhead lights. Included with the Folio 3 are two backdrops, one white and one black. The Folio 3 can be used as a basic light tent with no need of a turntable, and I found it does a really good job in this role. In fact, this is the only way I figured out how to use the black backdrop, as there is no way to use a white turntable against a black backdrop itself. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute or two. These backgrounds are held in place with Velcro, and they work really well. Both are easy to install and take out. In addition to the overhead lights, you can purchase two LED light bars called halo bars, and these also plug into and are controlled by the same pendant that controls the overhead lights via a separate dial. The halo bars can be configured in a number of different locations in and around the Folio 3. The first location is attached to the side, shining downwards. The built-in magnet holds the bar securely to the side of the Folio 3. The second location is in front of the light tent, either standing on end, again secured with magnets, or lying flat on the floor. The final configuration is also attached to the side by the same magnets mentioned earlier, but pointing straight out towards the middle of the Folio 3. The halo bars have channels in them to store the power cables so they don't hang down into your shots. Up to this point in the video, the Folio 3 probably looks like an innovative light cube with a very flexible lighting system. Oh, not so fast, Kowalski. The real magic is about to begin. You see, in addition to the neat light cube and the great LEDs, the folks at Orange Monkey have developed a motorized turntable called the Folio 360 that connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth. When you use the Folio 360 turntable, there's another light that's almost hidden and this is the halo light on the rear of the Folio 360. This is controlled by the app and helps to fine-tune the light level just behind the turntable. In addition, the app controls the exposure and color temperature of the item being photographed. Pairing is fairly straightforward via Bluetooth. I have an iPhone XS Max, but the Folio app also works with Android, fo Android phones. Unfortunately, it seems you need to connect the Folio 360 to your phone every time you launch the app. Kind of a pain, but not a deal breaker.
So, as you can see, the system is pretty much set and forget. What are the challenges and issues, though? Well, first of all, it appears that's what's happening to make it look like the object being photographed is floating in thin air, is you're actually setting the exposure and light levels of the backdrop, the halo bars, and the turntable to where they're blowing out the highlights on the backdrop and the platform of the turntable. And in this manner, the backdrop and turntable bloom into an equally bright white. That works great to make the turntable blend into the backdrop. However, it also makes it really rough to get the item being photographed exposed properly. In addition, this overwhelming level of LED goodness definitely skews the white balance to cyan and blue, which can make it a challenge to get accurate colors. After several dozen items scanned, I've discovered the best way to set up all the inputs is to adjust the lights for the absolute minimum level that just barely gets the whites of the background and the turntable to merge. Which brings up another challenge. There isn't a real process involved in getting everything to work together. Like the video noted, when you set up a normal photo, you work with ex the exposure triangle. You adjust ISO, aperture, and shutter speed to get the proper exposure value. With the Foldio app, though, there's a lot more variables. You can vary a vague setting called exposure for the entire scene. You can vary another input called color, which is a quasi-color balance, or white balance. And then you have the intensity of the three light sources you can control. The overhead light, the halo bars, and the halo on the turntable. You can also move the halo bars around to change lighting. Every one of these things is controlled subjectively. I found it to be a little frustrating and way too iterative for my fairly ordered engineer's mind to handle. I'm getting better at it, but as opposed to a regular photo shoot, where after many years of working as a still photographer, I can go in and almost nail the exposure immediately, with the folio there is still a lot of finagling and futzing involved. This will probably get better with experience, though. One more thing to figure out, and pretty much any other turntable has this challenge, is getting the subject centered. If you don't center your subject, it will appear to wobble rather than just spin. The platter of the Foldio 360 is 10 inches in diameter, but the center is not marked. Orange Monkey has a template on their website that you can use to overlay on this platter to center objects. They recommend printing this out. Good luck with that. How many of you have printers that are large enough to print out a 10-inch circle? I've got a photo printer that is that big, however I don't have any regular paper for this printer that gets that size. But fear not, loyal Pixta Flix fans, I figured out a workaround. If you print out the template first in portrait mode and then in landscape, you can cut it up and tape it back together again, and this will give you a 10-inch round template. Voila! The capture process involves placing the template on the platter, grabbing the object to be photographed, and hovering over the center, sliding the template out, and lowering the object. Even with the template, and with a round object like this, I found there to be a lot of trial and error. I used the app to spin the object around to check to see if it wobbles before actually taking the images, and even then, I rarely get something perfectly centered. There is an extension package available for the Foldio 3. This is made up of a larger 19-inch diameter platter and a bigger backdrop. This works great for larger or taller items, however, once you install the larger backdrop, you're limited to where you can place the halo bars, as the sides of the Foldio 3 are now obscured by the larger background. Also, getting the object centered is even more challenging with this bigger platter. As you saw in the demo video, I used a ruler and moved the subject until the front-to-back measurements were the same, and the left-to-right measurements were equal. Again, there will be a lot of back and forth here. Are you getting the impression that iteration is the operative word with the Folio? You'd be right. An additional mode of operation for the Folio 360 is linking it with a DSLR or any other camera with an infrared communication system. I haven't tried this yet. It basically connects the turntable and the DSLR, then advances the turntable and sync with the DSLR. After you capture all your images, you need to still go back manually and assemble your video or GIF. My iPhone XS Max is a pretty good camera, and so far I haven't seen the need to use one of my DSLRs 
or even my EOS R, but I might try it sometimes. Orange Monkey has included a mirror to reflect the IR signal from a DSLR as the extension platter covers the IR sensor on the Foldio 360. So that's about it. I love this thing, seriously. Even with the challenges and limitations, it does something that's very difficult to do with normal gear. If you sell a lot of items on eBay or Craigslist, or like me, review a lot of products, this system is invaluable. Or maybe you're looking for a great way to photograph your household inventory, or you've got a treasured collection. If a picture is worth a thousand words, is a 360 degree image worth 360,000 words? Maybe. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up below. If you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down, but if you do this, please leave a comment telling me how I can improve these videos. If you want to be informed as I roll out new videos, please click on the subscribe button over there or at the bottom of the video and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications. And if you see something in this video you'd like to purchase, use the links below. Buying by using these links doesn't cost you anything, and I get a few pennies when you do this, which helps me defray the cost of buying the products I use and review. Thanks again for watching. I'm Dennis, and I'll see you on the next episode of Picks to Flicks.